Okay, we're going to interview Uncle Marvin Hensey and his wife Thelma today. And Uncle Marvin is my Grandpa Eric's brother. And uh, we're going to discuss the olden days. Okay. Okay. Now, Uncle Marvin, tell me when you were born. Well, I was born November 30th, 1913. And I was born. June 14, 1909. Okay. And uh, um, tell me who your parents were. My parents were um, Ernst Hinsey, of course, and my mother was, her real name was Helene Hinsey also. They both had the same name before they were married. Okay, and um, how many brothers and sisters did you have? I had um, four brothers and three sisters. Wait a minute, something's wrong here. No, that's yeah. right. The three sisters? Mm -hmm. Helen and... Renata. Renata, that's right, and there was the, three. Okay, and, and yeah. Edna. Okay, and, uh, and Eric, who was my grandfather, was your brother. That's right. Can you remember much about Eric? The peculiar thing is that my brother Eric and Hubert were older, and by the time I got old enough to know anything, they were gone. They weren't around home. So I actually, in many ways, I didn't know Eric or Hubert as well as the two younger brothers. They were I was older by the time they were okay. still home. Were your grandparents, like your um, uh, Ernest and Helen, Helene's parents, were they still living when you were little, or do you remember no, them at no, all? No, they, they had died. They all came over from Germany, settled in Nebraska. But my, I never got to know any of my grandparents. They had died by... Yeah, because you were so much younger, I suppose. Yeah, that's how I was. Uh, so when when your parents were in Nebraska, were you in Nebraska or were you born here? No, I was born here. See, my, my parents moved up here exact year, I don't know. They had, let's see, Eric, oh no, Hubert was alive when they moved up here, and Eric and Helen. Ernst, er, my brother, is my brother, we call him Ernest, but his real name was also Ernst, which is a German way of writing and pronouncing okay. Ernest. Though those kids were all born in Nebraska. Where the Arnold, I'm not sure. I know I was born here, and my sister Edna was born here. Arnold may have been. I actually don't know. Okay, but Eric was born in Nebraska? In Nebraska, yes. They were, okay. they were young boys. And some interesting when after they moved out, of course my parents were, most of my relatives were farmers. And coming up here, in fact they moved up to Willow River, Sturgeon Lake area. And that wasn't a very good farming area. So my folks had hopes that their boys would go down in Nebraska and farm because that was the place to farm. Okay. <clears throat> so they sent several of them down to Nebraska in the summertime to see what it was like, but they all liked it here in Minnesota better. <clears throat> okay, okay. And How do you know that? Because I was told that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> what I'm doing most of the time. <laughs> An interesting bit of um, information, the reason my folks moved up here, my dad had TB, tuberculosis. Well, didn't Edna also have TB? Yes, Edna also had it. That's really? It. But my, my dad <clears throat> contracted it probably when, when he came over here from Germany. Anyway, they gave him a choice in Nebraska. If you wanted to live, either go to the mountains or northern Minnesota. Uh -huh. So of course the the mountains was no place for a farmer, so they came to northern Minnesota. And he felt so well after they had been here 
quite a few months, he thought he was cured. Mm -hmm. So, but he went down to Nebraska by himself in the summertime for a short time. He was just there a few days or a week, and he got to feel rather sick again. So then, then he knew that he couldn't go back to Nebraska. He was going to live. Okay. At that time, there was no, no cure for hardly any treatment for tuberculosis. Fresh air, outdoor living, hmm. was the. Uh, so uh, he did remarkably well. He lived to sixty some years of age, which when he died in approximately 1926 was quite an old man. Mm -hmm. Now I don't think 60 years old is old at all. No, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> when you start approaching 50, it's like, well, I used to think 50 was old. Are you close to 50? No. I'm 51. 51, I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah, 51. Yeah, so. God, you were getting old, though. Uh, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. Not as spry as I used to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So, um, now, did you, did you ever farm? No. You just always owned the gamble store? No, I, I went to high school and graduated in 1931. They just about the Depression was, there was no work, period, mm -hmm. and no money. So my mother lived here in town, so they had a teacher's training department. They would take 12 students, could go there. And after a year's training, you could teach country school. Oh, so you taught country school? Yes, I taught. Oh, I didn't the, know that. Um, at that time, country wages were still, they were getting around $80 a month for teaching country school, which was pretty good money. So I thought, I may as well go, I can't lose. So I went to teacher training. But then the Depression really hit. Wages dropped to approximately $45 a month some as low as $35 a month. Oh, wow. So I got through with my teacher's training and I got a school for 45 bucks a month. So I, taught, I, I stayed at home and drove back and forth. I was eight, ten miles out of town, east of town. Anyway, then I had an eight, eight month school and there, after the snow came, they didn't plow the road, then I had to stay out in the country, board room out mm -hmm. there, $10 a month, which is was fairly reasonable. Oh, the, yeah. I know my mother talked to the lady and thought that was quite reasonable. Well, she said, we have meat and vegetables and so on, so that $10, we can buy what we need and spices and things like that, special things, so that that's going to help us quite a bit. So what school did you teach at? Out about, uh, let's see, who would you know out there? It's straight east of town on the north side of the Snake River okay. in the area called uh, more or less Shingwatana. Shingwatana Forest? Okay. Although we were, the school I taught was a little bit south of the, of the, of the Shingwatana, there was a Shingwatana school too that okay. was north of In fact, that's, at that time, that's as far as the road went. The, the, um, the park is out in that area now, far out there, that it okay. comes down there. Okay. Now, Grandma and Grandpa's farm was where Le the land was over by where Leonard lives now, right? Well, is that no, where they farm? no, that one. Rock Lake, no? The original, see, my my folks lived up by the river for two, three years, then they moved down mm -hmm. here east of town a short time. Then they bought the farm. Part of the golf course is there now, right. south of oh, okay. where the golf course is. That's where I was born. That's where they lived most of the time. Okay. Then, after that, while they were there, then they bought the farm where Leonard is. My brother Hubert was going to farm that. Okay. Hubert got married, and uh, his wife couldn't see farming. That was no good. So that didn't last long and Hubert moved out and my uh, Hubert and his wife moved into town and my brother Ernest, that's Leonard's mm -hmm. dad, 
By the way, his real name was Ernst too. Ernst would be the German pronunciation, but okay. everybody called him Ernest. Okay. Anyway, then they bought that farm, and Ernest farmed that, and my folks then bought a farm east of where Leonard lives, across the railroad track. Raymond Weimer lived there last. He doesn't live anymore now, okay. but just across the railroad track on the north side of the road. So that's where we lived, for, that's where I went to school. There's a school right, right north in the corner of Leonard's, the northeast corner of Leonard's farm is where the schoolhouse was. Okay. So I went to school there until my folks, and my dad, I'm talking too much, I'll let you. No, that's, no, I want you to talk, that's fine. Well, and my dad felt, during my lifetime, my dad never was very well, mm -hmm. but he got along. And then, back in the early 1920s, he found out people were going out to the Black Hills of South Dakota that had tuberculosis, and they got to feel better. So my dad went out there, and summer was by far the worst for the for, for the TB, mm -hmm. he would feel work. So he went out there and felt good. He stayed there. At that time, uh, Hot Springs was quite a town for people. They had, oh, really? It was a, I don't know, it, I don't know what town. He had big pillars in front of the church. I'm oh, sure, yeah. Uh, Thelma <laughs> likes to kid me. The uh, church there, there was a beautiful rock in the Black Hills. So I was telling her about the big, two pillars, one on each side of the sidewalk, going uh -huh. into church. So we went out there when we got married, I guess, right on, on the honeypot. Anyway, those big pillars were only about, about <laughs> so Thelma can't get over that. Of course, I was a smaller boy out there, and the pillars seemed big to me. Oh, sure. <clears throat> but anyway, my dad felt good out there, so he went out there and came back. He was fine for a while. But then, he went out there for several years, always came back feeling fine. He was more a regular man. Of course, back at that time, somebody 60 years old, they were old people. They yeah. were actually. So then, he decided he'd, he'd buy a house out there and move out there. So he bought, bought um, a house that my mother didn't, hadn't seen or anything else. Oh. It, 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 <laughs> and then my, uh, your grandpa Eric, my dad had some characteristics, the same as Eric did. Mm -hmm. He was, uh, he would do things, because, and I, he was never well when I, during my lifetime, and my dad wasn't. But we moved out and bought a, a very nice place. We moved out there, but a clock had run down. My dad never recuperated. He died the first year we, we moved out there. Oh, really? So he died out there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. So um, that. then... And that was in Hot Springs? In Hot Springs, South Dakota. Then, uh, of course, my, my mother wanted to move back to Minnesota here. But of course, she was stuck with that house. It was the heart of the Depression. But in the late 20s, or early, uh -huh. in, in late twenties, yes. So then, and of course, she said my dad paid too much for the house, which he maybe did. Your, uh, I often think if if my dad had been feeling good, he would have been very much like like your grandpa. Mm -hmm. He he would have been full of hell like your your grandpa was. <laughs> Yeah, see, I always wish I, I knew Grandpa. And yeah. Of course, I was only one year old or so when he died. Yeah, and, and I, I didn't. Remember at all. And we, uh, and after he moved out, out out west, then he wanted us to come out there after him, your, your Grandpa. And we, we were, we couldn't afford to make a trip out there yeah. at, at that time. And then he passed away before we got. So we never got out there to see him. Probably took you days to drive out there too, because they don't they didn't have the freeways like they do now either. No, no, the roads are different. Wow. Then you asked about. Yeah, but I grew up 
the south of, south of town, east of where Leonard mm -hmm. for a few years went to country school. The uh, I grad, you know, I was in went to seventh grade, eighth grade, and first year of high school in in Hot Springs. Oh, you did. Yes. Oh. Okay. Then my my and my older sister Helen. Mm hmm moved out there with us and she she worked in a, in a hospital out there most of the time and my sister Edna was out there she uh, she, she must have graduated she would have graduated you no know, she probably graduated from high school out there while we're on, you never heard of my sister Edna I've, well I've heard, heard of her I mean I knew she died of TB yeah you know? she went to teacher's training and Got to uh, taught school out in the same area as I taught school, but not the same school, not quite as far out. Oh, okay. Anyway, then she got sick. She had had, had been normal, more or less. She got sick in uh, the middle of the winter and died in April of the same. She died very. Oh wow! Uh, she had the whatever strain of TB she had. It, it took, there were different varieties of that, mm -hmm. and that took her very soon. She, she was in the Pukegama Sanitarium out here. Okay, I remember when they used to have that as a TV sanitarium, yeah. I remember yeah. hearing about that. That was one of the early TV sanitarium, but she died out there. She was there a couple of months or so. Well, do you think they, they, she caught it from Grandpa? No, 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 it wasn't no, no. She didn't. Uh, she didn't catch it from uh, from uh, from her dad. The uh, the folks who we were lucky. Quite often, back in those days, as TB got in the family, it would practically wipe them out. None really? Of, yes. It, and but people, it wasn't contagious. Yes. Oh, it was. TB okay. was was con okay. contagious, although not not too bad if you. Um, what they told us at that time, if you got in a rundown condition or something, then you were apt to really? apt to contract it. And of course, my, my, my mother was very careful in you know, washing the dishes and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, I think my, my dad even even had, in fact, I know he had a special cup that he always used, the same cup. But uh, none of, there was talk that a lot of people, uh, not some of the of uh, us kids would get TV, but none of the rest of us did. Wow. And I've gotten to be the ripe old age of 87, <laughs> and I still know what I'm doing most of the time. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have more fun when I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> you wouldn't know nothing about that. No, of course not. No, of course not. Um, uh, was Grandpa... Ernst and, and Helene, were they both born in the United States or they were both born in Germany? No, they, they were, all the kids were born in Germany. They were all and, born in Germany. And, uh, like, uh, uh, Leonard's dad, uh, Ernest, was born in, in Nebraska, I'm sure, and Helen was born in Nebraska. And then that sister, Renata, I think she was probably a baby when they either, she could have been a baby when, when they moved up here. I have, Okay. Well, do you know what town in Germany they were born in, or where they came well, from? Well, uh, actually, some of the towns are are gone. Well, yeah. Born. But anyway, they were born. They all lived near Rising City, which is still a small town. Oh, in Nebraska. Yeah, but Rising do you know where City. they came from in Germany? <clears throat> yes. You should have warned me. I don't know right now. Okay. It well, was um, in the. Uh, no, somewhat not real north, in the uh, north, somewhat the northwestern part of, of Germany. They weren't, they weren't by the French border, but they weren't, they were closer to, they didn't come from the Russian side. Okay. See, Germany, and then the um, southern part of Germany, that was, it was called, it used to be called Bohemia, then it was called Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. What it's called now, I don't know, but uh, it's probably still, still Czechoslovakia. Do you know? Um, do you remember any of like Grandpa's, great Grandpa's brothers and sisters? Did they, did they have? Oh yes, I I got to know 
all my uncles and aunts all moved over here from, from Germany. Okay. Not at the same time, of course. Okay. In fact, yeah. our family, like my, my dad, my mother and dad moved, they were single when they, when, when they moved over, over here. Mm -hmm. And my, uh, my dad's family came first. And my, uh, my dad worked in a, in a bakery in Germany. He stayed afterwards. He was 18 years old when, when he, he moved. He came with several other young men. He came and you I... Don't, you don't know what approximately year that was. Not offhand. I, I could figure it out, but it would take too much oh, okay. <laughs> to time. It would have okay. been... Uh, I, um, in fact, um, your... Um, i to get it right here. Your uncle, what's the guy, that, well that's your uncle that raised a fair amount of hell in his day. He, they all he, did. He, yeah, <laughs> uh, 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 Dale. He, he, oh. the Dutch. Dutch? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Dutch was going to go to Germany here some years ago mm -hmm. and he, and I got some information where he was going to see if there were any relatives. Of course, there were no aunts or uncles that stayed there, but he would, but he, he never got to... He never got to go. No. Yeah, see, I'd like, I'd like to go one of these days. I'd like to make a trip would you, over there. No, I, I had no, no desire. I wouldn't... Thelma's heritage is uh, Sweden. Okay. I, I actually wouldn't mind... Sweden, of course, Swedes always appealed to me anyway. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I have always liked... Sweden uh -huh. and, um, and Switzerland always appealed to me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a, a good friend from Norway and she came over here when she was about 16. And she goes, her parents are still there, so she goes back once. Is there. that right? Mm -hmm. But I would, I don't know, I'd still like to, I hear there's a lot of hangrels in the left still over in Germany and stuff. There's a few hangrels. When I was on the internet one day, I found there's some hangrel that owns a hotel over there. Is that right? Yeah, so I thought one of these days I'll have to... Of course, they, there must have been a, an awful lot of pangles when, when you think of them. Some, some are so, so distant they aren't hardly related. No, aren't I they? know. There, there was a ton of them. And, Even uh, around here. Yeah. In fact, I've gotten, um, on the Hinzies, I've gotten some email from some Hinzie relative that's related. I think it's Carl. Carl Hinzie? Yeah, there was... There was a Carl. <coughs> See, my, uh, my, my brother, wait a minute, I'm to that. that doesn't make any difference. There, there was a, some, there could have been several Carls in the relationship. Okay. In fact, I, I, I know there were two. I had two uncles. They were both called Carl. Oh, okay. Okay. So, now, how did you two meet? Well, and a dance. And a dance? Well, that, that's... <laughs> and besides, you'd get a kick out of this, too. Yeah. Back, back years ago, Lent, uh, and mm -hmm. dance halls cut down. There, were, there weren't many, many dances. And mm -hmm. uh, Catholics, were, they, that was really a no-no to go to dance during Lent, more or less. And Lutherans, that was frowned upon just about as bad <laughs> to, to go to... But anyway, it was during Lent. We had Lenten services in town. I went to church, and I had a friend that had a friend that went with a girl that went to our church. And they, and the, this friend happened to be there. And after church, three of us guys got together in a pool hall here in town, and there was a party to dance over at Graston. They said so. The three of us went over there. <coughs> he had taken his girlfriend home, and, mm -hmm. and so then, so then. We got there, and there was this cute little gal. She had a red jacket on. So I danced with her a couple times. I would have liked to take her home, but with two other guys, I know that's that's a no-no. I would do that. <laughs> so that was it. We came home. <clears throat> I didn't go to hell yet. I'm not going to dance anyway. But anyway, uh, you you knew that Catholics. Didn't go to the dance during that. I didn't know that. That was that was, of course they they assumed that, that's that, changed a little bit. And, and of course, 
and the Lutherans changed too. I mean, either one, going to dance was, was a, doing Lent was really uh, not, was frowned upon. Okay. Like, okay. But um, I got off the subject. Where, where were we now? Okay, there was a cute little girl with a red cone on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so then, a few weeks after that, then they, it was Easter time. I had a good friend, Axel Havlestow, and he's one of my only friends that's still, still living, by the way. Anyway, he had lived around grass, and he said, let's go to a dance, and, and I was all, maybe that gal will be there. So I went there, and sure enough, she was there. <laughs> it was a rainy night. They had a dance above a store in, in grass, and they did, the building had torn down now. So I danced with him. Then I just had this one fellow with me, and he was well known around. Thelma didn't know him, but around the area. So then I asked to take Thelma home, and she went home with it. Of course, she'd go home with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Naturally. No, no, not really. So I took her home, and then I. I made a date with her after that to come and I think, I'm not sure, anyway then, and uh, we went together for five years. Okay. Not that we couldn't, but we didn't have any money. And we wanted to have a thousand dollars when when we got married, which at that time was... Uh, I was going to say, that was probably a lot of money. That back was back. one heck of a lot of money. <laughs> Almost like being a millionaire. So, so then... We wish had, I had a thousand over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We finally had about eight hundred dollars after mm -hmm. some over five years. So then, then we got married, and you'd be surprised, of course, eight hundred dollars at that time went a long way. A long ways compared to what it goes now. But then we got married, and we had forty some dollars. So we went on a honeymoon out to the Black Hills. That's when I saw the big pillars. That's, oh. that's where those big pillars were. Okay. So, we were out there and when we came back we still had two or three dollars. Wow. You, there was one, I don't remember exactly, was, back at that time cabins were the thing. And of course you could get a cabin I, if I remember correctly, one dollar was probably average. It was always fifty or seventy-five cents. The two were was really high. There was one place we looked at; it was out of this world. But it was, it was either dollar seventy-five or two dollars, and that was like I don't know, like probably uh, a couple hundred now. Mm, so we wow. we didn't stay there, but we probably paid not over a dollar for a, for a place to sleep. So what year was this? What year did you guys get married? 1939. Okay. Wow. Back at that time, you could get a full meal in a regular rest, including coffee was always almost included with a meal at that time. For approximately 50 cents, you could buy a, a full dinner. But of course, 50 cents was still a lot of money. Well, yeah, I suppose. Wow. Trying to think what else I was going to ask you. Yeah, so then you. Now, have you always lived in this house? No. When we first got married, we, you probably know, we rented on, on the fairground. Del Delaney, Del Delaney has lived there now recently. I don't oh, know. okay. Uh, anyway, we rented there from some very nice people, but they had an outdoor can. It was summertime, and outdoor can, it's a toss-up, which is better, the winter or summer? In the winter it's so cold, in the summer the, the odor is bad. <laughs> of course, uh, Thelma was, was used to an outdoor can, mm -hmm. so she, I couldn't stand it, but then we finally some person told us that they were moving out. They lived upstairs. Frank Somers 
own the house. Mm -hmm. You probably know uh, new Bill Somers. Mm -hmm. Bill, mm -hmm. His his dad. Okay. And some uh, uh, Skalicki who were lived upstairs, and they were moving out of town. They were going out west. And the way they rented from him upstairs four rooms, and it was uh, thirteen dollars a month. So the price was right. So I went over there, and so he, Frank, he was a, a fine old gentleman. He, he off a dollar a month, twelve dollars a month. Mm -hmm. So tell them agreed. And <clears throat> so in the meantime somebody else had heard about it and they came and they offered him I don't remember it was around eighteen or twenty dollars a month. But the kind of a gentleman he was, he didn't know if he'd like those people and he said he'd rent it to us, so he he rented it to us for Twelve dollars a month. That was just the way you did wow. business in in those. He, he had well, told sure. us that, and so, so maybe we, she's related to Somers. Well, they're kind of um. Well, they lived out on the Brunswick Road. Bill Somers did, and um, I know some of the Somers. Oh God, some of the Somers and Young Bars and Pangrels, but not my set of Pangrels. But some of them are related because uh, I think a Somer married a. Is it a Somer married a Pangrel, and they all had all these kids. <laughs> I can't remember, but <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not really related to the Somers, but some of the Pangrels are, I think. So we lived there. Somebody has said. <laughs> yeah, somebody has. Yeah. In fact, um, until until Frank died. And then we, we, uh, the place was was for sale, and we didn't have any money, and we didn't want to buy the old house anyway. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So then we found. I happened to come over here at that time. I was working. You were working at Pine City Hardware. That's right, at the Pine City Hardware. Came over here on some sale, and I saw this place. A fellow had a basement house here. <coughs> um, Louis Tyke. Okay. He, he's passed away now. But, you know, anyway, it was kind of nice. And there weren't many homes here. So then, then afterwards, I heard, in fact, uh, uh, Carl Myers, you remember him, mm -hmm. came to Hardware and said that Louis Tyke had his, his place for sale. And wondered whether I'd be interested in. And buying it, and Carl was nice. So he said, "If it, it wasn't on the lake shore, but if I wanted a boat, I could have a boat at, at his place. That was all right. Mm -hmm. I didn't want a boat, but so then I came over here, and we bought the, the place. It was, it was two thousand dollars for the, the place. So then we built a house on top of it." We borrowed, I don't remember what, what we did borrow. Do you remember how much money we, we borrowed? No. Nope. I think around, around $4,000 uh, through Pennington and Clem and the Equitable Life Insurance Company. So then on that $4,000 we built this house, except this section here, this one. This was built on afterwards. Oh, okay. It was mostly <coughs> donated help. An, an 80 year old carpenter at that time, I thought he was terribly old. Now I don't think he was so old after all. <laughs> 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 and that was, uh, his name was P.O. Nelson. It was Ray Nelson's dad. Dad. Oh, okay. He, he, was, a, he, he was a barn carpenter. He built okay. around the country. He built half the barns at that time. Okay. So and then my relatives helped uh, uh, my brother-in-law Ray Nelson, which is his son, mm -hmm. er, Renata's husband, helped, and Ernest helped, and Leonard helped, and my brother Arnie had he passed away? Maybe he had. Yeah, I think he had, and Hubert had for sure. Mm -hmm. And we moved in here. It was 
wasn't finished too much. We finished it afterwards. Thelma didn't complain. She worked like mad. <laughs> Yeah. So what year was that that this house was built then? Well, let's see, it would have been, um, Gail was five years old, let's put it, do it this way. Gail was born, she's she about ten years older than I am, I think. Six? What, 1945? Had Gail been going to school in town? Yeah, okay. she went to school when we were in town. Well, then when she was older. So she must have been about eight years old when we moved up here. About eight years old, and we got married in 39, 1947 or so. Mm. We could have a record around here someplace when we moved out here, but that's right. She was going to school right when we moved out here. Oh. Yeah. See and she's what sixty one. Yeah, yes, I, I was. Yeah, I knew she was like ten years older than me. Yeah, fifty one. I remember that, that she was about ten years older than I am. And uh, they still they still don't even. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else I was going to ask you. She's getting pretty old too. We're all getting old. <laughs> God, I tell you, I I had my grandson yesterday and he pooped me out. <laughs> He's only three and a half months old. I'm like, boy, I said, now I know why people have kids when they're young. <laughs> yes, people in my young days I used to always say, old people shouldn't have old to, and me at that time was people in, in, in their thirties shouldn't have kids. First of all, they spoil the kids. They, they, uh, <laughs> younger people, the, the kids, they, um, they get a better, I still think parents should be young. In yeah. some ways, they probably don't take as good a care as, uh, of course, back nowadays, it's, it's a new world nowadays compared mm -hmm. to when, when I was young. Uh, the, Your daughter's got a kid too, have Yeah, she just had, she's the one that just had one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So this was my I first. Thought maybe it was a boy that had. No, no, he doesn't have any yet. They just got married a couple of years ago, so. Oh. So he doesn't have any yet, and she's finishing up school, so. But um, and in fact, in fact, everybody's coming up tonight for the fair, so we're. Yeah, and I remember you guys going to the day when Eddie used to play. You guys would always be out. Yeah, we used to like to, Dan. We liked. Basically, he even played our type of music. Mm -hmm. Most, although, music, I like the, the slower type of music. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's probably what you're used to when, when we were young. That was big. Of course, there were two types in our young days. There was old time and there was modern. And there was a distinct difference. Old time was old time. That was, of course, most of the Right. And uh, a lot of hooping, a lot of jumping around, raising <laughs> hell. And then the the modern, most of that was a slow foxtrot. That, that was the, uh, most of the music they would be. Uh, and of course, country western is, uh, to me, is something like, like, like foxtrot music too. It, uh, mm hmm Yeah. But I never learned to dance anyway, so. I mean, you never learned to dance. You're a good dancer. I always thought you were a good dancer. You guys were always out there. No, I, uh, I, I admire... Do you go to as many dances now? Not as many as I used to, you know. They don't have a oh, dance Oh, but hall. you enjoy it. Do you dance? Always. Oh, we, we were dancing last night. They had good music up at the fair last night. The Rose family. Oh. Yeah. We're up at the fair last night, so that was, that was good music last night. I used to know the... Well, I wouldn't know any of these, but the uh, the old rose. Uh, Emmett. I, I knew em, em, Emmett would be pretty old, but he was a kid. Emmett. Oh, okay. Yeah, Emmett. Uh, I see him once in a while. Uh, does he still play? He doesn't, does he? He gets up and sings. He wasn't there last night. I thought maybe yeah. he'd be there, but he gets yeah. up and sings and plays. Uh, and his dad was Fred Rose, and his mother. And her maiden name was Hints. 
Uh, really? If I remember correctly, that him said. Mm -hmm. yeah, she just died a few years ago. But, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. You're. Uh, Didn't the Rose family play at the uh, bandstand? Or band? What do we call it? Bandshell? Bandshell. At, at the at the state fair or here? No, at the... Yeah, well, yeah, they played over here, yeah. Yeah, right there in the beer gardens. That was good. They were very, very good. We haven't heard them for years. We used to hear them when, when they first started in years ago. One of the original bunch died. He was sick. I don't remember. He was in the rest home for years. I don't remember what his problem was. Hmm. He would have been Emmett's older brother. Okay. I forget what it Hmm. Yeah. How many pieces do, do they generally have? Oh, let's see, I think there was, um, usually I think it's four or five. And then last night they had this Alan Goddage sing with them, and he's got his own band. And yeah, he is very, very good. name is it? Yeah, he's really, really good. So that was uh, pretty good. Yeah, so they don't have the dances like they used to. I mean, when Pine Camp and the Topic Ball were all open. Was, was the Topic still going during your... No, like that was already closed by the time I was... I think that must have closed down in the 50s. Your mother was nice to dance with. Both oh, the, Mom, Mom loved to dance. Both uh, Elaine and... Uh, and, and your mother were very nice, very nice to dance with. And I often said, if I dance with a really nice dance, then, then I can dance pretty decent if I dance with somebody. Yeah. Some, some women are just, they just stay with you. you yeah. Know? yeah, mom was always a good dancer. She loved to dance. She loved the music and, you know, and stuff. So, yeah, I really miss her. Used to, she used to be at that fair every day. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember in the... Elaine would come several times, mm -hmm. she'd be here, and they'd, they'd be around. Yeah, and those two would go, in fact. Um, Mary and Jerry moved. Where, where'd they? Um, they bought a new house. They built a new house. They did? Yeah, they're still in Portland. Mm -hmm. But they built a new house. They moved in, um, oh gosh, it was like, must have been January, December, middle of December. And uh, we just saw them, uh, we met them, Joy and I went out to Montana to see Mick, and Joy's oldest was, was out there. And so Mary and Jerry picked Joy and I up at the airport in Spokane, because they're only like seven hours from where Mick is. Oh. So they picked us up in Spokane, and we went and we spent a couple days with them in Montana. Oh, this was in May. Crazy. Yeah. Mary and Jerry aren't coming this year. No, not with the new house. They've been, you know, so busy with that, and they knew they would, they wouldn't be. So they thought that's why they thought they'd meet us in Montana. At least they get to see a couple of us this year. Did did, did one of her parents pass away? Her dad did. Her dad. That was a couple of years ago, maybe three or four already now. But her mom's still living, and she's in a nursing home. Oh, she is. Mm hmm. And uh, Vern and Bob are still, well, we were all out there last year for Vern and Bob's 50th. And uh, anyway, so they're, um, they're still doing okay. You know, that was at the last party at the, at the picnic at, at your folks. Mm -hmm. That is, I heard Bob sing. I had never heard him sing before. Even you he, hadn't? No. Really? And, and, and he is still a good singer. Oh, yeah. And, and plays the guitar, but I had never heard him. Of course, I never happened to go to a, to a dance where, where he played, but I never, but I was shocked. the Melody Ramblers played, yeah. They, uh, they, were, they weren't exactly my type of music. They were, uh -huh. they were a little bit more of a... More, more of a rock kind of. Yeah, more yeah. of a... Yeah, yeah no, um, yeah, I mean, in fact, Bob's the only one left from the Melody Ramblers now. That's, that's right. Yeah, because, um, oh, um, Carlson. Waldo. Waldo, he's gone, and, and of course, Willard Johnson's gone. And then that, um, guy that played the people's piano, um, oh, what was his name from Mercer City? Oh, yeah. Uh, he was a, 
that played piano in Oregon. Yeah, not sure to his name. But anyway, he's gone too, so Bob's the only one left. Although we, uh, we rather like Waldo in his older days, he, he played on a... He used to play with the bartenders, like Paul the bartenders. Kind of, yeah. yeah. And we, we liked his music. He played... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a... Oh yeah, and then the, there was you know, the, uh, the frog... Uh, did, you know, the, the frogies never played with, with that bartender. They were always... Mm -hmm. the that was a di different, uh, different group. Then but... They, um, yeah, so he, uh, uh, he's, he's pretty good. And then he'll get him and his son Randy and Eddie together, you yeah. know. And yeah, Randy. Then you got some good music, you know. Yeah. No, <laughs> I used to play it, and uh, Bob played, I forget the name of the song, an old song, and he, he played it, he, he played it with the, on the guitar, and played the melody on, on the guitar, so he, he was a good guitar player. Oh, yeah. He out the, He's a beautiful job. Does Eddie play? Well, actually, Eddie's playing this weekend. He's all at Wushkies. He's got to fill in for a, they were short a drummer. Oh. And so Eddie says, he's, I don't know how it's going to go. I haven't played drums he, he in years. Used to, he played drums. Actually, I'd say one of the best local bands we ever had was Silver Nagel. When Willis? Eddie and, and Dave. Mm -hmm. And then they had that other guitar player. But he, that guy had a beautiful voice too, the singer. But mm -hmm. it, 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 um, Rick. I think his name was Rick. <coughs> there was a Rick and there was Willis and Dave and Eddie. And I can't remember who all was in there. But yeah. I think they, they were, I, I think maybe I talked to Eddie when uh, and remarked how, how good they are. And they mentioned we, we practice. They used to practice a lot. So, which, of course, generally now most of the bands around here, they just get together and make a lot of noise. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but I thought he was, they were the best. And they used to play at Cougarville. Yeah, oh, yeah, Cougarville Castle they used to play. All the, in fact, Cougar, were you around? Well, uh, Cougarville had music every night of the week at one mm -hmm. time. I remember, you, I remember that. Yeah, I know Mom and Dad used to go up there a lot. And they had... It had a very nice uh, clientele of uh, people, mm -hmm. very well behaved. I uh, the thing I I didn't like the um, topic, or and it used to be called Swartzwalds. That was more of a um, rambunctious. Crowd. Yeah, I think yeah. I mean, the Weasel Gang I know used to go there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they used to always talk. But yeah, no, I never even got to go into the. I think the topic was already tore down by the time I, you know, even knew what it was. You know. Is that right? I think so. I think that was gone. I think yeah, that was gone a long time. Of course, Pine Camp. That was the big thing when I when well, I was I, growing up. I helped build the to the uh, the topic. You did. I worked there one day. That was when Swartzwell's built it. Oh yeah. And uh, the work was. Scares, but I decided that wasn't. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't for you, wasn't huh? For me. And then I also worked at the time at uh, at Swartzville at Crystal. It's called Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I worked there, and they had business. I worked the first night. I rinsed beer glasses, ha glasses in both hands, all night. I did, just just mm -hmm. stood there and rinsed beer glasses. That was terrible. Then I got promoted. Next time I sold beer. That was really bad. <laughs> they yelled for beer. You you can never. There was always a lineup. And you you. It's unbelievable the way that people used to drink beer. Anyway, they'd be lined up for beer, and you'd get a little bit sloppy. You'd give them too much foam. Then they'd swear at you for not having a beer. So then I worked there either one or two nights. Then I, I quit that too. That that wasn't. Uh, well, Hoopy John played down there one night when I worked there. Yeah, Hoopy John. I remember. But I was so shocked. He, his orchestra members were young men. They were. Mm -hmm. I thought they'd be old. And, but anyway, they drank milk at the inter, intermission. Really. Quite a few of them drank uh, drank milk. Yeah. They, uh, but they were they were uh, they they didn't drink. But the. Uh, but the oh. customers, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, Hoopy John, 
I, mean, I never liked old time music, period, although he had a good orchestra, as far as I was concerned. He had a good, but I didn't. Uh, huh. Yeah, I had some good old, you know, old time music way back when. But you know, it's really funny, um, you're talking about meeting in a dance. My mom and dad met at the top of the ballroom. Pardon me? My mom and dad, you know, you're talking about you guys met at a dance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my mom and dad met at the Topic Ballroom. Paul and I met at Pine Camp. Ed and Joy met at Pine Camp. And Dale and Jackie met at Pine Camp. Well, how about that? Isn't that just done? <laughs> Is there? A, you all met at a dance home. Yeah, we all met at a dance home. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Isn't so it's kind of, I guess, you know, back then, that's what you, everybody did. You know, you went to dances and, you know. Yeah, it, it was, I think, and you grew up at the at the tail end of the um, the dance hall business. Mm -hmm. kind of, yeah, I did. It, it was on the, beginning of, well, we got married in 1970, and it was just like, what, oh, yeah, that by was, 73, 74, yeah. the dance halls were pretty much done, you know? Yeah, no, you were just at the tail end, mm -hmm. then petered out to... to and put, now they got these little itty-bitty teeny dance floors you can barely move on them, you know? Yeah. Not like when they, you know. Uh, around here, Happy's was the place to go to dance. Now where was Happy's? It, it, it's north of Hinkley on on 61. Oh, okay. It, I remember hearing about it. That that was it was quite a large. It was built in out, out the country. The, the the building is still there. They sold from the. They had furniture there at one time. Uh, oh, people. I think I remember that. But, but they had, they were strictly modern. Never, at the beginning, there never was an old time dance there really? for many years. And they had good bands from, at that time, there were many uh, good bands, and, and the, the booking address was Mankato. <coughs> Minnesota oh. was a home. They probably, there were probably from, at least from half a dozen to a dozen good bands that uh, they had buses and so on. They um, they made a living at at uh, at, at, at playing, but they uh, they had good music. Wow! But they would have Saturday night dances, then on. Um, on Sunday nights, for a while, they'd have a smaller band and a cheaper band, but that that was it. And never, never. And they maybe had some small, more of a private party dances, but during the last Pine Camp, would have a regular Wednesday night dance and Saturday night dance. Years yeah, I know ago. Mom and Dad, when they got married, it was on a Wednesday, because Mom said Saturdays were always pay dances. Yeah. So they always, you know, yeah. so they got married during the week. Yeah, they generally always, always had a wedding dance on, on, on Wednesday, sometimes other nights, too. Yeah. 